All right, this is the unboxing of the Makey Bitmobile Beta Kit, which includes two Makey bits with two micro bits, uh, the parts for a remote control and the parts for a little car. So let's take a look at what's inside. First thing you'll see is the template for turning your uh, car driver into a racer. You've got a blue and a white one. And then we have a little uh, pit crew skin for the remote control if you want to use that. Uh, inside, let's take away the packaging here. Uh, you'll see marked with the uh, pit crew is the set for the remote control. It includes the Makey bit with pre-programmed software on the micro bit and all the parts in there. And then on this side, we have the parts for the buggy, all marked with the driver sticker. And inside you'll see the sticker there of the driver again. This Makey bit and micro bit is pre-programmed with the software for the buggy. So that if you go online and put these together, you can start using it right away. Let's start by assembling the controller and let's see what's inside the box bag here. Uh, first, we have the laser cut controller holder. We have a button, a four color cable. We have a joystick controller. We've got the makey bit with micro bit on it. Put that right here. And in the bottom, be careful, don't lose these. We have uh, two screws and two nuts that we'll be using to uh, connect the joystick. So first we're gonna attach the joystick to the controller. If you want the joystick on your right hand, uh, flip it this way. If you want it on your left hand, flip it this way. I'm gonna put it on my left hand. So I am going to put this here. I am um, securing it by with the two screws. So I'll put one in this corner up here. and tighten it. Take the other one, put it in this corner. And tighten that one. Next, we will be putting the button on. controller. Now the button goes in this hole over here, but first we have to unscrew the locking ring and put this through here. Turn it over. First we put in the washer, the lock ring washer over there, and then the threaded one goes over. Um, careful that you put it on, try to align it nice and correctly here because it's easy to um, thread it a little off and then it just doesn't screw on very nicely like I am doing now. Let's see if I can get this better. There we go. Okay, so now I've got the button and the joystick. So now let's add the Makey bit. So the Makey bit is designed to just drop right in here. You'll notice that when you drop it in, it's, it's a, it doesn't just drop right in, it's a little bit tight here. Just gently push it in. It's because this battery pack flares a little, but we want it to be sit there uh, with some reasonably tight. So that's what we want to do. And so let's start by adding the, um, the cable, the four color cable to the joystick controller. So take the four color cable and use it so that the black is on the right side and just align it to the four right pins here and just slide that on like that, you see? So now it goes ground five VRX and VRY um, to here. So ground is the black one, so we're gonna take that and find a ground pin on the back of the Makey bit. Here's one. Uh, white 
is going to P2. Yellow is going to P0. Those are the two far um, left pins on here. And red is going to go to 3.3 volts right here. Um, and now the joystick is connected. Next, we will connect the button. Um, one pin will go to ground and the other pin will go to pin one. So we're gonna say, find that um, one to ground right here. There's a ground. Doesn't matter which one you're using because we are, um, it's a button and so as long as you just connect the two, one to the pin and one to ground, we're fine. So now the joystick controller is actually ready to go. We're gonna turn it on and you'll see a little M will appear. That's good, so let's just turn it off and put it down and wait for the buggy to be made. Now let's assemble the Makey Mobile, the little car. It has two parts. It has the kit for the car and it has the micro bit and uh, Makey bit uh, bag as well. So start by uh, the car kit. Inside we're going to find two wheels. There will be two servo motors, some laser cut car parts, a marble and front wheel which we can just snap that marble in right now to that front wheel, and some nylon screws, a little screwdriver. Now that we have our parts out, let's put the buggy together. Let's start by putting on the left side motor. So we're gonna take this servo and grab the car body and put it so that it's round side down through this side. Now, just so I can remember which side this is for later, I'm gonna take a little Sharpie and mark this one black, just so I can keep track of it. Now I'm gonna take the um, back brace piece and just slide it over the motor like that. You'll notice that there's a uh, space here where I can put the screw and my little nylon screwdriver, screw and screw that on. And tightening is fine with this. Okay, so now this part is on, and now we're going to put the other side on. But we're not gonna screw it on yet because this side is gonna be a little trickier because we've got all these other parts we're working with. So, but first, let's put this, make sure it's um, round side down again. This will go in through here. This goes there. But now we have to get this cross piece in here. It's a little tight. And we want to do the front piece as well. Put it in here and open it up. Don't force it too much. You might want to. And now we've got that together. Now we can add the screw here. So let's put that screw in. Correctly. Okay, so hand tighten that. Just to kind of keep these cables out of the way, I'm going to put them from the front and thread them in this little hole in the bottom and pull it through. And then just pull it up and through the back. So just thread as much of that as you can through. I want these cables to be pretty flat here. You see that? And they'll just be dangling off the back here. Okay, now we can put the front wheel on. It'll snap into this front area here. That's the front wheel. And now we are going to put the side wheels on. Now these, we're gonna use one of the screws that's inside the bag. Go, there are um, two types of screws here. There's a tiny one and there's some with a little pointy tip on them. We're gonna use the pointy ones in here and 
each of these wheels might have a little bit of extra stuff left over from the 3D printer, so we might just use the screwdriver to clear that out so that we can see through that hole. Also make sure you're using the Phillips head side of the screwdriver and get that in here. So this screw will go in like this flat side here and then we're just gonna get it onto the wheel here and just tighten it onto there. We want that to be as straight as possible there. So you see, um, is the straighter it is, the more, uh, the, the better it will actually drive. And so um, let's just keep that nice and flat like that. That's good. Let's do the other side. Probably could have cleared out that extra little bit of 3D printing material in there. I've kind of screwed it through, so now I can just drop it on and then start screwing it on. So now we have the two wheels on, we have the motors and the front wheel. Now let's put the makey bit on and wire it up. So inside here, we'll open up this case. The makey bit with the little driver is the one that's pre-programmed with what we need. You'll also see that either in your case or in this bag is a um, USB cable for downloading new programs to your makey bit if you want. But let's just put this here. And if you remember, we had that was one that was a uh, black one and then there was one that was the uh, unmarked. The one that's got the tape mark, that which is the left side, we're gonna put on the bottom of these bottom three and with the with the little metal pieces going up. So it's, it's gonna go orange, red, brown, and then right above it, we're gonna put the other servo, same direction, orange, red, brown, in, in there like that. And now, this is ready to be driven. So let's turn this on. And you'll see that nothing happens on the makey bit. And so what we wanna do is turn the remote on. And now the makey bit should have an M and have a green light. So now the remote should work.